This coffee is really bad, but it's better than our coffee, I think. Right? Hotel coffee really does not hold a fucking candle to the delicious shit I drink at home. And it makes you a coffee brat. And I am definitely a coffee brat. I like good coffee. Luckily it spits steam when it's done. It's like a, it's the equivalent of the death throes of a shit coffee maker. This is uh, my lovely view. Yeah, Texas is flat, especially over here. East Texas, baby. Definitely dipped into the emergency rations. Quest bars, they're what's for breakfast. Future food. I'm also not really a fan of hotel breakfast. I don't like shitty pre-warmed eggs. Let's go downstairs and see what they got. Go see what's up with this breakfast. I don't need shoes for that. It's terrible looking. It smells like breakfast. I got some oatmeal, some almonds. It was almost worth walking down. I really did not even want this cup of oatmeal, but I did walk all the way down and I refused to do it for no reason. So I got a cup of oatmeal and some really sketchy looking eggs, some cheese. I'm not sure what those other fucking round things are. I'm not burning my good calories on that garbage. Now back to the edit. My edit is done. Now to pack up this disaster and uh, cut out. Insight, so some of the vlogs I do watch, Ben Brown's one of them, and I really dig the stuff that guy does. Check those out. What's up guys? So these sweaters, the crew neck, embroidered pistols on it. It's really the only thing on the sweater. I think I'm gonna do these as a special item for Christmas. And uh, if you're interested, leave a comment below. Um, I think they're gonna be probably close to 50 bucks and we're gonna do these as pre-order and you get it, you get it. If you don't, you missed out. We did some sweaters last year and they were pretty cool. So we're gonna do some more this year, pretty subtle. Something a little nicer, not necessarily gym wear. And uh, let me know what you think, yay or nay, right? Beautiful day. Luckily I'll spend uh, almost all of it in my truck, right? Headed home. So, well, kinda home. Gotta stop in Beaumont, about 30 miles from here, and then head home, so it's 12.40. I think four or five hours till I'm home to hit traffic. But I trained yesterday, so I'm probably not gonna do much fuck all today. So this will be a relatively boring shit vlog. Sorry about that. 
that's really all I got. I'm gonna get some food in. Don't really feel like stopping to buy a you know, traditional meal. However, water burger, chicken sandwich, pretty solid. Uh, macro wise, I've got room. I can do two chicken sandwiches. They're on wheat buns. Not a lot of trash on them as far as condiments and shit. Um, and then just get two extra chicken sandwiches that don't eat anything but the meat. Get it. Gotta live that life. Hit those macros. Right? Stop and meet the UPS guy on the side of the street. Get the rest of my toys. So I am finally home. Need to do something. So I've chased the pump a little bit. I've snatched and done some upper body stuff the last couple days. It's so basically just be kind of a cardio session. Kind of get the heart going, so nothing particularly good. It'd be kind of a recovery, which I like. So to start off with a little bit of workout, I'm gonna do three rounds. So a 250 row, a 21, 15, nine set for the accessories, and I'll do pull-ups and dips. That'll be a good start. There's a little something, and uh, spend some time on the bike. Just blood flow, heartbeat, nice. Whew. Fucking that many pull-ups suck. What's up? So finished, a little cardio workout. Gonna do some mobility now. Just some light stretching, some smashing. So, eliminating really stiff quads from last night's training. So, uh, using CMBs, they're round, good handle. I can start working through my quads. I know you guys have seen a lot of this so far. I really do believe in it. For bigger guys, letting that muscle relax and getting into it. Spend some time when you get to a spot that feels right, contract into it, and then relax, let it sink. Uh, try to separate and break up some muscle fibers. Next one, get a straddle position, keep your eyes off my crotch. Now you all looked at it, didn't you? Fucking got ya. I'm gonna use that as an anchor and try to pull myself into that position. <sighs> I 
Just trying to get some things moving after sitting in a truck all fucking day. It's not ideal, but it's doing a little bit every day. Now, I guess I'll probably be in the garage for probably 30 total minutes doing something today. And that's just doing something. It's just breaking a sweat to break up all of the stagnant, I guess, you know, body and fluid that's basically been sitting all day long in that truck. I'm trying to get my heart rate up, get some metabolism moving if that's even a thing to do, but it sure feels right. Remind my body we're burning some calories, we're doing something. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it just has to be consistent. And today, consistent is just moving a little bit. So, you know, instead of compounding a full day of sitting in the truck and being kind of tired and a little depressed and maybe not training at all or doing something physical, I can get in and do something. And this is gonna make a difference. Do some stretching after I've warmed up good from that little CrossFit workout. I'd like to call it a Metcon, but I'm not 100% sure what that means. But it's short. It's three movements done for time. And I don't really track the time other than I just try to finish as quick as possible. And then spend some time doing some athletic stretching on the hips for sure, because that's where I'm going to be the most beat up. But that's really it. You know, it's win the little battles every day. Try to win uh, the little stuff of, you know, start small. You know, if you're just a beginner, think about doing the little things like, did I do something today to get better? Or ask yourself, honestly, did you get worse? And try to keep more of those in the plus column than the negative column. Do, do something daily to make yourself better and love the process. Love training, love, love the physical culture side of it. Respect it and be part of the community. Let me know what you guys are doing on days you don't really feel like training. What's kind of your go-to move to kind of break that slump and keep yourself in a rhythm of I did something today. Let me know down below what you guys think and uh, sorry for a less than exciting vlog today. But, as I've said before, it's not all flowers and sausages. Some days are grind. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Cheers.